Welcome back to Buckeye Country Cooks. My sister's here now, and she is preparing the peppermints for the peppermint bark. And it's really easy. Peppermint bark is really easy. Get whatever peppermint you want. Hold the bucket up, Sheila. We're just using the peppermint balls, and she's gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and beat them to death with a hammer because I don't have a food processor yet. Then you take a package of almond bark, and we're gonna melt it in the microwave at 20 second intervals. You don't want to do it for a minute at a time or two minutes at a time. You want to do it in 20 second intervals because you don't want your chocolate to, you don't want to over temper your almond bark. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to put it in my microwave safe bowl. And then I'm going to melt it at tw on 20 second intervals. And I'm going to attempt to break this apart. There we go into the little squares because that way it'll melt easier. But you don't want to, I'm probably gonna cut this with my knife and make it easier to break apart if I score it. If you're doing this with little kids, this is one you wanna be careful with because this chocolate gets kinda hot, this almond bark does. And you use almond bark for a lot of different recipes. This one, like I said, we're making peppermint almond bark gonna break our little squares apart and I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 20 seconds and then I'm gonna check it and then every 20 seconds I'm gonna check it and stir it until it gets to the melted consistency that I want and then by then we'll have the peppermints all crushed and we can add it to it and then we're gonna pour it out on a wax paper lined cookie sheet and you have to work pretty quick because you don't want it to set up until you get a chance to get it out and spray. Okay, this is after three 20 minute intervals and see it's still not melted. So I'm gonna put it in again. This is after 40 more seconds and it's still not ready. So it's going back in for another 20. It's starting to get a little better, but it's still not, I still have chunks. So I'm gonna put it in for another 20 seconds. Okay, so I put it in for 20 seconds plus an additional 10 seconds. And now it's that good consistency. So we're gonna take it over here where my sister has chopped up the peppermint and the dust that we had from her. I'm still working on it. Oh, she's still working on the dust. <laughs> but see, we have the dust there. So, but this is going to go into the chocolate. And I'm gonna mix it together. That spreads that peppermint taste all through that lovely chocolate. Okay, just give me what's left in that bag there. Okay, and I'm gonna take what's left in this bag, which is pretty chopped up, and I'm gonna pour it into this bowl. Some people pour it, pour their chocolate out and then put their peppermint in but I do the peppermint <clears throat> in with the chocolate. That way I know it's even. Then I'm gonna spread it around, stir it up real good. Get it well incorporated. Okay, so now it's well incorporated. So now I'm gonna take my wax paper line sheet and I'm gonna pour it over in there. And then I'm gonna spread it out. Try to get all of that that I can get off of there. So this is a really easy candy to make. It's just two ingredients, peppermint and almond bark. Okay, and then I'm gonna spread it out. Kind of thin, cause you don't want it to be thick cause it's gonna harden back up. And it's gonna have that peppermint in it. So you wanna spread it out. I'm gonna try to make it as rectangular as I can, but it's really not gonna matter because once it cools and sets up, then we're gonna break it apart. So we're spreading it out. Like I said, I'm trying to get it thinned out because I don't want it to be too thick. And that's gonna be our delicious peppermint bark. That's good for clearing the palate after you've had like a really sweet dessert or whatever. Take a piece of this peppermint bark and it'll clear your palate. So, 
There's our peppermint bark. Now we're going to let it cool and set. So, let's push the button. Okay. Okay, here's the peppermint bark completely set. As you can see, you can lift it up. And we're just going to, you just break it off into pieces. You know, however small. And then you just put it in a tin. So there you go. Go make you some almond bark, peppermint almond bark. Is it good, Lee, Sheila? Oh, yeah. <laughs>